this is Andy. Welcome you back in today as we work on this house on Eakin Avenue. Big things are happening, trying to wrap up the inside of this house, getting closer to interior paint. Uh, as soon as we can get that wrapped up, we'll be moving to the exterior of the house, working on front porch, working on finishing the wood siding, and then all the decorative trim that's going on it. Today, we wanted to take a second though and walk through and show you each of the details we're working on as we're pulling this inside together. Take a look. Years and years of paint. Uh, I think at this point, we're on our second gallon of paint stripper trying to get this loosened up get enough of it off where we can get it uh, sanded smoothed and ready for some fresh paint on it where we don't see all the layers of mixed paint underneath so we're also working to revive the original staircase you see here if you remember from original video this hallway was chopped up into a couple different rooms because of that the framing that was there was fastened to the original woodwork so you can see it left a lot of nail holes and splinters in the wood so we're trying to figure out the best way if we should go back with a stain grade wood or if we need to just simply patch and paint also since we've added a half bath under the stairs the transition between the drywall and the original woodwork left a gap so we're looking to use this cove mold as a way to bridge that transition position. So as part of recreating the original trim, we've looked at what's still existing in the house. You can see around each of these doorways, it has the wide casing. That's made up of a flat board with a decorative piece of trim on the edge of it. It's actually two pieces. We were able to save a lot of that when we were doing the original demolition that we're going to put back in place on the doorways. You can see some of that trim laying out here. We're removing nails and getting them ready to go up. These doorways, uh, we've got the original door frames with the transom windows. They'll all be going back with the original casing as well. And you can see here in our garage, we are plumb full of the trim that we've salvaged out of the house. Hopefully, the majority of that can go back in place with very minimal amounts that we have to recreate with something new. Our hopes are that the entire first floor of this house look as original as possible. So you can see looking into this original hallway, uh, you still have your high ceilings. We hope to have all the original woodwork back in place and it would look as it would have when it was originally built. I think these cabinets speak for themselves. Uh, the new homeowners picked these out. I think they did a wonderful job. You can see these go from floor to ceiling, completely tied in with the crown molding at the top. Gonna be an absolutely beautiful kitchen. So when we had received this house, all of the fireplaces had been closed in. We were able to have our brick mason come out, open all those back up, and put a steel lintel at the head of each one of those. So being at the point of detail work, that brings us to working on windows. You can see here Dalton's working on replacing the ropes that attach to each of the pulleys in the windows. We've been doing things like replacing glass where needed, rebuilding, reglazing windows, getting them ready for paint. Uh, some of these windows we were missing. So we're building new frames, taking other salvage windows from other properties, and adjusting those as need be to fit in these openings. So these will have the original windows. You can see the wavy glass in some of these photos that we've got here. We Try to keep as much of that as possible where it wasn't cracked, just keeping the original details once again. Well, this home's not only going to be beautiful, but also be energy efficient. Uh, the new homeowners decided to upgrade the insulation under the floors. We went with a closed cell spray foam. Uh, one of the things that happened with that, you can see the little pinholes we've got in these original wood floors. Some of that has oozed through, leaving some exposed. So we'll have to do some patchwork on these floors, filling in the, uh, the holes where you see the foam, and then get that ready before the final coat of polyurethane goes on, sealing it back up.
guys, thanks again for watching. As always, if you like the videos, hit the like and subscribe button down there at the bottom. Hope you enjoy these updates. We've got more to come. We'll be showing you the finished house as soon as we get to that point here shortly. Keep watching.